welcome to a to another watercolor tutorial. Today we're going to be painting a really easy, super beginner friendly watercolor bookmarks with simple, um, with, with four different simple leaf designs. So let's get started. And here is um, a little glimpse at uh, what we'll be painting and you can find my outline here of all these four different designs in the description of this video. Um, and you can download them and transfer them onto your watercolor paper. Sorry, I'm trying to get my uh, phone set up. There, okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, I see Sydney and Sarah. Good morning, how are you doing? If you're watching this live or the replay, um, comment below and let me know where you're watching from and how you're doing and if you'll be doing this tutorial with us. So um, I went ahead and I swatched kind of like the colors I am thinking of using for these bookmarks. And I have all of these in the description of this video if you'd like to uh, check them out. But I, I decided to kind of play around and um, have like different kinds of greens for all of my bookmark designs. Um, so yeah, these here are from KMS Watercolor. She, she makes handmade watercolor paints. So um, this is kind of like, I, I think that for this bookmark, I'll use like this green and this pink and yellow. And yeah, I really like her watercolors. They're like super shimmery and fun to paint with. Um, so yeah, okay. Um, when I transferred my outline here with transfer paper. It's like graphite transfer paper and I uh, got it from Arteza. And yeah, so that's kind of how I transferred my design onto my watercolor paper. And I also just printed out the outline. So it is below in the description for you. Okay, so let's get started. Good morning, Desiree. How are you doing? <clears throat> okay, so let's start out with this design here. Um, and yeah, I, I swatched sap green and Prussian green from Shimike. So I think that those are the colors I will use. Of course, you can use like whatever kind of colors you'd like. Oh, and let me quickly go over my supplies. So I am using cold press watercolor paper from Arches. And my brushes here are from, are the Princeton Neptune brushes that I always use. <laughs> Um, so I have a size 4 round brush and size 0 round brush. Um, yeah, I'll probably just be using these two. I might use this script brush here, the size 1. All right. So the colors for the first one... I think, yeah, it's, I think I'm going to use this Prussian green, which is like a really pretty blue, blue green. Hi, Liz. How are you? She says, I'm here, but still running around. I will settle and transfer in a minute. Awesome. And then I, I want to use this staff green. Okay, I think maybe maybe I'll mix the two a little bit. Okay, or I don't really know. We'll, we'll see. We'll play around. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to use my tiny, tiny uh, size zero round brush. Okay, 
Maybe first I'll do a layer of the Prussian green. Okay. I'd love to know what, what you think of a tutorial like this. It's like really simple. Usually my tutorials I feel like are very like complex. Um, and I don't know. You, I think you, some of you guys would like a more simple tutorial. Hi Claire. Um, how are you? I know that you went to the doctor. Are you, are you feeling better? So yeah, I'm just painting like in these leaves with one color. I might like, I'll, I'll go back in when it's dry and add another color to it. Maybe, um, like an, another color on top in some areas. Maybe I'll add some shimmery paint to it. Desiree says, I'm taking it day by day. Maybe I will join in with these. Yeah, I, I know you haven't been feeling well. I hope you're feeling at least a little better. Yeah, this tutorial is nice um, as like a relaxing painting session. Like if you're not a total beginner with watercolor, it's just sometimes really nice to paint something simple. So last week we painted a bluebird on a berry branch. Um, I know some, some of you here joined last week and that tutorial was, was a lot of fun. I, I really love how that one turned out. And I actually sold the original, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I linked that in the description of this video if you guys wanted to check that out and you haven't yet. And if you're new here, um, we go live every Friday morning at 10 a.m. EST with a watercolor tutorial. I think we've been doing it for almost two months now. That's crazy. <laughs> Hi, Allison. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> Claire says, yes, feeling tons better. That's good. If some of you have been, um, attending these live t tutorials for a while now. What has been your favorite one so far? I would love to know. What ones have been your favorite? For me, uh, yeah, I really liked the blue bird from last week. That one was a lot of fun. I really liked that one. And I, I really liked the butterflies we painted. Well, <clears throat> I guess not all of them. <laughs> um, some of them, I didn't really like how they turned out, but I liked the Australian plane, the, the plane butterfly a lot. I liked, the, I liked painting that one a lot. And the Miami blue. And I, I really liked the first one we did, the um, snail on top of the mushrooms. 
that that one I was so nervous in because it was like my first my my first live video. But it was it was fun. Hi Chris Draws. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, sh shimmery paint. I get a lot of my shimmery paint from KMS Watercolor. Um, I do have a 10% off coupon code for you guys in the description if you wanted to um, check out her shop. Desiree says, it has been so much fun and simple. It was very nice sometimes indeed. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's exhausting to like constantly paint things that um, challenge you. Like it's, it's good to do that, but it's also good to just relax and paint something that calms you and doesn't stress you out because... Um, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of, like, a lot of what I paint challenges me, and so it's kind of exhausting. Desiree says that she liked the turtle one. Yeah, the, the turtle live tutorial with the butterflies. I liked that one too. Claire says that she liked the peony and the snow on top of the mushrooms. And Chris Draw says, I will have to go watch the tutorials. I am new here. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot now. We've been going live for like a little over two months, I think, every Friday. By the way, welcome. Welcome to the channel. This kind of reminds me of like coloring and a coloring book. I just like fill it in with watercolor paint. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, if you're just joining, you can find my outline here for all of these in the description below and like download it and transfer it onto your watercolor paper. Hi, Ingrid. I hope you're doing well. If you guys have any ideas for next week's tutorial, let me know because, I mean, I have a whole idea list for tutorials, but um, if you guys have any of like any ideas, let me know. I know some of you suggested like a sunflower. I think that, I think we'll do that um, here soon. Cindy says, I love the bluebird, turtle, peony, frog, and mushroom. It's really hard to pick a favorite. <laughs> yeah, I, I liked the peony frog too. Um, if, if you don't remember what tutorial that is, it's just like a, a cute frog surrounded by peonies. That one was 
challenging for me because I haven't really painted frogs before. Like, that was my first frog. I, I painted toads, but like, not a frog. So that was new for me, and peonies are hard for me to paint. So that tutorial was quite challenging. First draw says, oh, don't tempt me with more sparkle paint. <laughs> oh, and she, she says that she makes her own. That's awesome. Um, and, and she says, I have too much already is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's so funny. What? You can't have too much sparkly paint. No way. That's so cool you make your own. I would love to try to make my own paint someday. Especially spark like sparkly paint. That would be so fun. Desiree says, oh, there is no such thing as too much sparkle paint. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of the reasons why I like watercolor so much. Because there's like really fun sparkly paints to paint with. I didn't get that with oils. Um, yeah. So when I started to paint with watercolor, um, it was it was just really fun. I, I think there are like sparkly oil paints maybe or like metallic like I, I, I do have silver metallic paint oil paint but I don't know it's just not it's just not the same with as watercolor Sarah says I liked the butterfly Yeah, I did too. The, the last one I painted, the Je Jezebel butterfly, <laughs> I didn't really like how that one turned out for, for me. Like, I don't know. It's just one of those painting days where you, you paint something and you just can't do it well. Desiree says, it turned out very pretty, though. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Chris says, my pronouns are they, them. They, them. I'm not sure what, what you mean. <laughs> um, Claire says, what about a cool beetle? <gasps> oh, my gosh. That is such a good idea, Claire. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Um, I, I can't believe I have not painted a beetle yet. It's not insane. Like, I paint all of these butterflies and, like, nature-inspired paintings, and I haven't painted a beetle yet. Which is crazy to me. I, I really don't know why. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll do that for next week. Liz says, um, good in oil. I, 
I put it, wait, go, gold and gold. Oh, gold, golden oil. I put it everywhere. <laughs> Um, Des says, oh, hi, Des. Des says, hi, Allison, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. I am having a good day so far. It's Friday, which is exciting. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. It's a good day so far. I, yesterday, I finished the final butterfly for my butterfly, my, my watercolor butterfly class that I'm making. So I just, yeah, I, I feel so relieved now that all the filming is done. Now all I have to do is just get it set up. Do you guys have any fun plans this weekend? We have a wedding to go to, but um, because of the virus, we are watching it from our cars, <laughs> so it's just like, um, we just stay in our car and watch it on like a screen or something. I don't really know. <sighs> just crazy, this virus thing. It's starting to get worse again, at least where I live. And I plan on playing around with my watercolor pencils, finally, that I got like three weeks ago. So I plan on getting them out this weekend, learning how to use them, and just playing around with them. Okay, so all of this, um, th these leaves are filled in now. I think, I don't know if I'm going to paint with this color too. I just kind of swatch some colors and yeah, I don't, I don't know if I will use that one. Maybe I'll use some kind of like shimmery color to paint on top of these. Um, I have this like really pretty blue. I guess these can be like blue leaves. <laughs> Yeah, so this is from KMS Watercolor. Um, yeah, so I think I'll use this, like some of the shimmer on top. Oh, Chris, Chris says you used she, her, referring to me and, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. Um... Then he says, I, I plan on painting this weekend. I got a new beta fish and I want to paint him. Oh, that's so cute. So so I'll I'll be doing that. He had a he had very pretty colors too, so it'll be exciting. That's that is exciting. Beta fish are so so pretty. Chris says, the leaves are beautiful so far. Thank you. And then, it's it's okay. No no offense taken. Okay, good. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. So, sometimes I just, I don't know. I instantly go to her, or she. But yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so I'm just um painting over this now. Kind of just not. I, I'm not trying to fill it all in. I'm just kind of applying this on top of these leaves in some areas. So, um, in case you, like, I, I don't know if some of you guys follow me on Instagram, but I shared that I got an early birthday gift, um, and it's, I got an iPad, 
and that means that I get to try Procreate. So I've been playing around with it the last few days, and I actually drew these designs in Procreate. So yeah, it's, it's been really fun playing around with it, and it's nice to like like, I don't have to sit at my desk and take out all my paints to, like, paint. I, I, I can just um, use my iPad. Although, um, of course, it's not the same, though. <laughs> it's, it's just nice to have when, when I just feel like um, drawing out ideas for watercolor art. And if if I just feel like laying in my bed and <laughs> drawing or like um, on the couch or something. It's just nice. So do, have any of you guys used Procreate before? I think I'm getting the hang of it. Like I, um, I think I know the basics now like how to use it and stuff. So far I've only like sketched in it and like draw like drawn things. I haven't actually like painted in it. I'm kind of scared too, I guess. I'm just kind of like unsure. <laughs> um but yeah. Claire says, my goal is to get one of those. Lots of people take pictures and add layers to perfect it. Like, um, like take, take pictures of their artwork, like their watercolor art, and then like put it into Procreate. Is that, is that what you mean? Um, but yeah, that, that'd be cool too. It, it'd be cool to like, um, maybe start a watercolor painting or even just like a drawing or something and then put it into Procreate and see like what, what else you can do to it. Okay, yeah, that's that's what you mean. Yeah, that, that would be really fun. Desiree says, yes, that's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to try it, like, try Procreate for a few years now. So, I and I have no digital experience at all, really. I think I played around with Photoshop years ago, but, yeah, it was, wasn't anything serious or anything. Yeah, I feel like it'll it'll be a lot easier for me to like design sticker sheets maybe in it. Maybe I'll still use watercolor and then just bring them into Procreate and like finish them up maybe. I don't really know. <laughs> I haven't really learned much about that yet. Okay, so this is the first one. I just painted in the leaves with blue and then I painted some shimmery blue on top. So yeah, that's kind of what, what I decided to do with the first one. And now we'll move on to the second one here. Okay. So the second one, I'm thinking about using these um, paints they're from KMS Watercolor, and I linked her shop below in the description if you wanted to check it out. Um, and yeah, okay. I think I'm going to get out my size 4 round brush. Um, let's see, 
Chris says, I'm not a procreate person, but I do digital art with a Huion tablet and paint tool. Oh, that's cool. So, um, do you, do you only do digital art or do you also do traditional art as well? Like, like do you do both or do you just focus on digital? Okay, so yeah, I'm just grabbing the screen here. I think I'll paint in the leaves first. So this design that I did um, is just like like simple leaves and then like really simple flowers. Um, yeah, I thought I thought it'd be a cute a cute design to paint in. I think I might take my liner brush here, my, my liner stripped brush, and go ahead and paint the stems with it. I think that'll be easier. some more of your comments. Sydney says, Procreate is amazing for on-the-go sketching and, and mock-ups. I take it with me so I don't have to take a huge bag full of stuff. Yeah, that makes total sense. I think I'm definitely going to be using it more for like drawing out my ideas for my watercolor paintings because right now I just um, draw out on a piece of paper. <laughs> so sometimes I use my sketchbook, but if if I want to transfer my sketch onto my watercolor paper, it's easier for, for me to like just have a single sheet of paper, not a sketch pad. Like I usually if I use my sketch pad or sketchbook, I have to tear it out. So yeah, I would just use a compute like a piece of computer paper to draw out my design and then transfer it. So yeah, I think I'll be using Procreate for that for now on. Claire says, then when when you add layers, if you don't like the the layer, you can delete it. Yeah, that is just it's so nice. With these, um, these designs for this tutorial, I didn't just draw, draw them like this. I, I like, I had to move them around, resize them to like get them to look the way I want. It was so much easier to do that, um, rather than just like on a piece of paper and having to erase and then redraw. It was so nice. This green is like so pretty. Yeah, so I'm just painting in the leaves first and then I will paint in the leaves of the flowers and then paint in the flowers, I think. Sydney says, I also find using Procreate is easier to, di to di digitize my paintings and it's a lot faster than using my computer. Interesting. Very interesting. So, um, yeah, I, right now I use Photoshop to di digitize my art. Um, did you use Photoshop before Procreate? Um, so you, you find it easy to take the background out? Like, I don't know. I, I haven't looked into editing my art in Procreate yet. So I, I don't really know how 
how to do that. But that's interesting. Maybe I'll try that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and paint in the leaves of these flowers. Sarah says, your leaves will make good bookmarks. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, I, I will be making these into bookmarks. I just thought it'd be easier to like do like four, four different simple designs on one sheet of watercolor paper. And then it kind of turned into bookmarks. And then, yeah, I just started to... Say, oh yeah we're painting bookmarks <laughs> but of course you don't have to make these into bookmarks if you don't want to Chris Draw says oh I do all sorts of art. I, I adore watercolor right now. Awesome. That's great. Um, and then, she, and, and then um, they say digital is super fun too, however. So how long have you um, been using watercolor? So I don't know if you guys know yet, but yesterday I posted a new tutorial, which is of a barn owl, like how, how I painted the barn owl I painted a few weeks ago. And I also share about the upcoming art challenge that starts in July. Um, but really you can start it now if you want. But the art challenge is a is to paint a barn owl. So, um, yeah, I posted that yesterday and all about the art challenge and stuff. So, who here um, plans to participate in the art challenge? Hi, Susie. I'm so glad you're here. She says, late, but sure. Do, do you do oils? Just wondering. Yes, I, I do paint with oils, although I haven't a lot lately because I've been painting with watercolor more. Um, but yeah, I actually started with oil paint. Like I started painting with oils before I painted at all. Um, I, I started painting in college and I took a class on painting with oils. And so that's kind of how I started painting. Crystal says, I've been painting with watercolor for about two years now. Awesome. That's great. Um, what, what do you like to paint? Like what um, are, are your favorite subjects to paint? I love to paint animals and butterflies, <laughs> um, bas yeah, ba basically animals are my favorite, I think, and butterflies, and birds, I love to paint birds, but I guess 
they count as animals. <laughs> okay, so I painted in all of the leaves. Now I'm going to go in with my size four round brush and paint in the flowers. Clara says, I plan to participate. Yay! I'm so excited. I can't wait to see your owl. Hi, Myrna. She says, hello from Argentina. Hi, welcome. Okay, so for the flowers, I'm thinking, I, I kind of swatched both yellow and pink. So maybe I'll alternate. So pink, yellow, pink, yellow. Cindy says, I'm going to try. I've never painted an owl in watercolor, only in oil, so it'll be different. Yeah, it, yeah. I feel like painting in oils is just so much easier than watercolor <laughs> because you can like easily fix your mistakes, paint over your mistakes and like take your time. Chris Draw says, I enjoy painting all kinds of things, but I partic particularly like fantasy portraits, robots, and flowers. That is awesome. Fantasy portraits. Um, that's really cool. I've, I have I really like fantasy. I don't know if you guys know that. I, I really like fantasy um, and like my mythical, mythical creatures. Um, and I, I like reading fantasy books. <laughs> um, and I, I really like fantasy art as well. I just, yeah, I, it just doesn't show through my art, I guess. That's awesome. I know Desiree, you that does very like um, fantasy. Who, who else? Who else likes fantasy? Like fantasy art or fantasy books and stuff. Okay, so. This bookmark is all done. I really like this, how this one turned out. It's so cute and shimmery. Look at that. So pretty. Susie says, maybe you could share some of your oil pictures you have done. I love animals. Maybe you could instruct us to get to, to get all the parts in proportion. That's a good idea. Yeah, um, <laughs> my oil paintings. Yeah, may, maybe um, at the end of this live video, I'll show you guys some oil paintings. I, I am actually working on one right now. I showed it in my latest studio vlog, but it's a pet portrait for my grandma um, because her dog passed away, so, okay. So we're gonna start this one here, and this one is like berries, like berries and then some leaves. And I was thinking of using this purple here. This purple is this color, and this is from KMS Watercolor. Um, I linked her shop below. And so I think I might use this purple, and then this, this is called Serpentine Green from Daniel Smith, and it's like, <laughs> I love this green so much. It is 
It's so, it's so pretty. Okay, so I think first I'll paint in the berries. Claire says, I can kind of tell with the lighting, with, with the lighting bugs. I can kind of, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure what, what you mean. Like with the, with, with the owl painting, how, how there's like lightning bugs. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Chris Strong says, I've been painting a lot of Munster Girls lately. They were my theme for Patreon for a month. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I will have to check out your, do you have an Instagram? Uh, yeah, guys, feel free to share, share your Instagram in the chat so I can check out your art. I know I'm following, I'm following a lot of you, but. Okay, I'm going to take my size zero round brush and Grab some of this purple. I'm kind of running low on it. <laughs> uh, Claire says, I love fantasy art. Liz says, elf women, dragons, and horses. Wow, that's awesome. Elf women, dragons, and horses. I love dragons. Um... Zinni says, I love anything fantasy. And Desiree says, ooh, ooh, same. I have been trying to paint fantasy too. Yeah, I think it'd be really fun to, to paint like different kinds of myth mythical creatures or like fantasy creatures, like dragons. Or unicorns. I feel like that would be really fun. I have so many ideas. It's overwhelming. <laughs> I want to paint like so many things. Do any of you guys have that problem? You have so many ideas. Liz says, I want to do a large bee with a honey locust blossom and watercolor. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. Will you be starting that like today or this weekend? That sounds really fun. Chris Charles says, ooh, my mythical creatures are awesome. Yes. Um, let's see. Oh, hi, Michelle. Hi. So happy you're here. How are you doing? Are you working today? Chris Charles has an, Insta an Instagram. Chris Munster. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to find you on there. I'm going to write it down real quick. Okay. <clears throat> this purple color is just so pretty. It's kind 
of like a blue purple. Desiree says, I made a second one for my fantasy themed stuff a while ago. Somehow it is not, it was not received well when you post fantasy in between nature illustrations. Oh yeah, that's, could you, could you like combine the two, like fantasy, but also nature? But of course you, you should paint what, what you truly want to. You shouldn't have to like paint something because it goes well with the rest of your art it's it's okay to paint things that are different Hi, Hannah. How are you doing? How is your mom doing? Desiree says, the problem is painting all of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Meg. How are you? Um, she, she says, these bookmarks are looking so pretty. Thank you. And then she, she says, yeah, Ma Megan Pug Art, Pug Art is her Instagram. Okay. I think I'm following you on there. I'm pretty sure I am. Chris Straw says, oh, agree. I, I have so many ideas. Painting them all is so hard. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I have years and years of ideas, I feel like. So many ideas. And especially, which you, you probably understand, um, it's, <laughs> we, we have even more ideas because we use more than one medium. So I, I kind of feel like I have ideas for oil and then I have ideas for watercolor <laughs> and then I have ideas for gouache. And so like I have even more ideas because I paint with more than one medium. Then he says, um, oh, okay, worldly creations. Am I, I'm following you on there, I think. Okay, let me write that down. I, I think I am, but I'm not sure. Okay. She, and she says, I've been trying to figure out what to do this summer regarding art since our an annual art walk on the water was canceled, along with our fairs and markets. Yes, oh my gosh. I am so sad about that because, yeah, summers and like the fall time, I usually have a lot of markets. And now I don't. And it's, I don't know, I, I miss them a lot. I mean, there, there are some markets now popping up and taking applications, but I just feel kind of uneasy about them because 
who knows like what's going to happen with the virus and also like it's the virus is still out there <laughs> um at least in my area and and then I I had a market in March it got canceled and I lost all the money for my booth like they didn't refund us and it was like $95 <laughs> and so that was that was, that just really sucked. And so now I'm just like, ugh, I don't really know if I want to risk, risk it. Some, some markets I, I, um, was going to do the, they didn't refund us, but they will give us a credit towards a future market. So that's better, but still, I'm just kind of like, unsure about committing to any markets right now. Okay, so I have the, all of the berries painted in. So now I'm going to paint with a green. And I think that, yeah, the green will be the serpentine green. Which is right here. It's from Daniel Smith. I might just paint right out of the pan. I don't think I'll put it on my palette. Liz says, yes, this weekend. Also doing some paintings in Photoshop. Ooh. And she says, I don't have the other digital art art program. Oh, okay. So you don't have photo, uh, I mean, uh, Procreate. Cool. Um, I think first I'm going to, oh, there's a Leo hair in my paint. Okay, if you don't know, Leo's my cat. Hannah says, I have a bunch of woodland fairy paintings I did for my daughter when she was little. Ooh, woodland fairy paintings. That sounds really cool. Are they done with watercolor or like acrylic? So yeah, I'm just painting in the stems first. I can't remember if I told you that. And the berries just have stems, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint those in. Michelle says, yes, take a 15-minute break. Ooh. Well, I'm glad you're spending your 15-minute break with us. Anna says, this was a fun idea to paint today. Sometimes we just need a little fun painting break. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I was just talking talking about this earlier. It's just fun, you know, to paint. Not It's, it's fun to paint something that's more simple, more relaxing sometimes, you know? <laughs> this is probably my e easiest watercolor tutorial on my channel right now. Um, is basically just a coloring book, but for watercolors. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my size four round brush. I'm gonna use the same green and just paint right out of the pan. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it on my palette. I just wanna kind of add some, a bit more water to it. I don't want it to be super dark. Chris Jaw says, this was fun. Beautiful flowers and leaves. 
Thanks. I'm glad you enjoy it. And then they say, I gotta go though. I've got an appointment soon. Okay. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. Meg says, I'm good. Hope you are too. I am. Yeah, I'm doing well. It was a pretty good week. Um, it was busy, but it was good. I was having computer issues early, earlier this week with my desktop, <laughs> and I was afraid I wouldn't be able to upload videos for a few weeks and it turns out my graphics card like started failing so I couldn't like I couldn't edit videos or use Photoshop and stuff and then Jimmy gave me his graphics card <laughs> so now um now my computer is working so but other than that um it's a pretty good week Um, and she says, yes, I, I follow you too. So happy we can connect, even though I'm all the way in the UK. Isn't social media amazing? Sometimes I feel like I take it for granted. It's just really cool that we can connect with others um, across the world. I was... Thinking, I, I don't know like how long ago I was thinking this, maybe a few weeks ago, how in high school, when I was in high school, which was like in the um, 2000s, <laughs> um, mid 2000s, like we didn't have much social media at all. And we we didn't like connect much with people from, from like other countries. And so when we had exchange students, it was just really cool to um, hear about their country and stuff. And now, and now like today we can like connect with people around the world so much more easily. It's just really cool. Mr. Craft. Hi, Mr. Craft. Glad you're here. Meg says, that's awful. So sorry to hear that they wouldn't refund you. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it sucked. <laughs> I, I did sign a contract saying that there were no refunds, but yeah, it, it sucked. It was a total bummer. Um, and then she says, hopefully when things are safer, lots of people will be wanting to date out and come to markets. Yes. Um, I, I feel like I probably won't do a market until the holidays. And that's if things are better. Like, yeah. Who, who knows how it will be around there, like around that time. But hopefully things will be better by then. I really miss doing markets. Deanna says, my woodland fairies were done in acrylic about 15 to 20 years ago. I've only been using watercolor for about one and a half years. 
whole new ball game after oils and acrylics. I have to think so hard while painting. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I have to pay more attention when I'm using watercolor because you can't really fix your mistakes easily. And you kind of have to think more about when you're going to paint what, like in what order, especially when you like have to preserve your white areas and stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint in the stems of the leaves using my size one script brush. We are all done with this one. Yay! This one's really cute as well. <laughs> Meg says, my second name, Pug, I hope I'm saying it right, <laughs> Pug, was probably a bad choice for my account. <laughs> it's pronounced like, oh, it's, it's pronounced like P-U- you um it's welsh and don't blame anyone for not knowing how to say it <laughs> yeah that <laughs> i'm sorry yeah i probably said said that wrong i probably even said pu wrong i think that's that's how you're wanting me to say it so um if you guys haven't already it would mean a lot to me if you could give this video a thumbs up. Um, it will help this video get shown to more people um, and help my channel. It would just mean a lot to me. Okay, so now we're on the last one and I swatched some colors here that I think I might use. So this here is Viridian from Winsor Newton and Sap green from Schminke, and then leaf green from Holbein. So yeah, I just kind of swatched some greens that I think would be cool. Um, and I think that maybe I will paint with one color and then drop in a few like of the other colors, kind of like have a really pretty blending effect. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for these monstera monstera leaves <laughs> desiree says it is amazing a lot of people i chat to now live in america while i am in the netherlands yeah exactly it's just so cool to like meet new people around the world okay So I'm going to take my size four round brush and I think I might start out with this leaf green color, which is right here. So I think I'm going to fill the whole leaf with this color. Don't know if you can see what I'm mixing. So just like a good amount of water. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna fill this all in. It might dry before I'm done filling it in. <laughs> so maybe I'll just have to go in with some more green when it's dry.
love this green. It's so pretty. So vibrant. If you guys don't know, um, I have a free watercolor class. It's perfect for beginners. And I go over like all about supplies. And then it also comes with a hummingbird tutorial, like a step-by-step -step, real time hummingbird tutorial. So I linked that in the description below. Hannah says, my best friend moved to Australia from New York. I don't know if I could stand it without social media. I miss her awfully, but it's so great to be able to see her in this new setting. Yeah, that is so far away. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so social media is just really nice sometimes. So sometimes it's not, like, for some reasons, but... For the most part, it's really nice. Okay. So, yeah, this is... Yeah, I, I thought that maybe I could drop in some greens, but it's already dry. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint the rest of the leaves with this green. And then we'll add another layer on top with some other green colors. Cindy says, oh, oh yeah, um, Cindy bought a painting of mine, and she, she says she's going to get it today, oh my gosh, that is so exciting, I love days like that. <laughs> Would you guys like me to show you how I finish off my bookmarks? Like cut, well, I, I cut them out and then I like um, round the edges and hole punch the top. I, I could show you if you want me to. Um, or not. <laughs> Claire says, yes, please. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, Meg says, don't be sorry. Yes, you, you said it right. <laughs> Think I'll change it to pug one day just to make it easier for everyone. <laughs> Plus, they're cute. Yeah, that's true. Pugs are cute. So those of you who are painting along with me, how's it going? Are you enjoying this tutorial? <laughs> Do 
what, what do you guys think of simple tutorials like this? Should I do them more? I just painted over like a hole in the leaf, but it's okay. I'll just paint over it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Allison. She just sent me a super chat. <laughs> that means a lot. Thank you. Um, okay, yeah, so you, you guys, okay, you guys want me to make more simple tutorials like this? Okay, I will do that. Maybe like every other Friday will be like a simple tutorial. Hannah says, yes, I think the easier tutorial can be helpful and a nice break for you too. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, um, now let's add another layer to these leaves. So mine are dry, at least this one and this one. So now, I think I only want to add one other color, and I'm thinking maybe the sap green here. So, okay. I don't really know how I want to add this in. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm cleaning my brush now. Maybe I'll kind of blend it in to the middle a little bit. So I'm just blending with my brush and my brush has some water in it. Hi Patricia, Patricia art lover, hi. She, she says, hello from south of Mexico. I love your style. Thank you. Hi, Georgina. How are you? She says, hello from Los Cabos, Baja, California, Mexico. Beach vibes for everyone. Yeah, um, that sounds amazing. <laughs> she says, I don't want to interrupt your work. I started to follow you since the pandemic. Your work is beautiful. Aw, thank you means a lot. Okay, yeah, so I'm just painting with this sap green in some areas of these leaves and cleaning my brush and loading my brush with some clean water. Kind of just blending this. This might be the most complex leaf of this tutorial. <laughs>
So next week, I think we will paint some kind of beetle. It was um, Claire's suggestion. So um, I think that that'd be really fun. What do you guys think of painting a beetle? Like some kind of cool, colorful beetle. Okay. I kind of like these two greens together. I think it's really pretty. Claire says, love it. Yay. Pet, oh, Meg says, Meg, Meg, I, I was about to say peg. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Meg says, yes, a beetle would be beautiful and would look great with your butterflies too. <gasps> yes, that's so true. Yeah, I really like these colors together. Okay, now to the last one. <laughs> Meg says, Peg the Pug. <laughs> that is too funny. Sarah says, love your leaves. Thank you. Hannah says, when you paint bookmarks, do you seal them? like with a fixative or something. Yes, I do. I do. Um, I use, it's called a cry, Krylon, Krylon, um, varnish something. I, I can show you at the end of this video when I show you like how I finish off my bookmarks, which we will be doing here very soon because we're almost done. Yeah, so I just cleaned my brush and I loaded it with some water and I'm just kind of blending this around. I'm going to drop some more over here.
Claire says it is in her Amazon shop too, I think. Oh, oh, um, are you talking about the, the varnish that, that I was talking about? <clears throat> Okay, yeah, you are. Um, yeah, I, I think it is. If it's not, I'll, I'll, I'll double check and I'll add it in there. Um, yeah, if, if you guys don't know, I have an Amazon storefront now. I linked it in the description below. Um, I, I just have all of, like, I, I linked to the supplies I use. I, I still need to add some, some things, but a lot of, of the supplies I use are in the shop. Okay, so I think we're done painting at least. Um, Hannah says, good, good to know. I, I was glad to hear her say Krylon because that's what I use, but wasn't sure. Um, and then Sid, Sid, he says, have you ever thought about doing artist trading cards? They're small paintings that people can buy from you and collect or trade. It's a fun idea. I have. I have thought about doing that. I just haven't yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's a really good idea. Um, and it sounds a lot of fun. Have Have you guys ever done artist trading cards? I know Desiree has. I, I know that I've seen Desiree paint some. Okay, so I will kind of show you what I do now to finish my bu my bookmarks. So let me move my phone up a little higher. It will shake a little bit. <laughs> I should probably move my water jars because I don't want to spill them on accident. I'm going to move my paints. Okay, so here I'm using a, an Arches watercolor block. So if you don't know what that is, it's just watercolor paper, like kind of glued on the sides. So I need to get my X-Acto knife. So here I have my X-Acto knife and at the, like right here you can see um, like the individual sheets so I just need to cut this. Sometimes I cut all the way around, but um, sometimes I also just cut a little bit and then kind of tear them off. But you need to be careful because some, like one time I ripped a whole sheet of Arches paper and I was really upset. Because <laughs> as you probably know, Arches is expensive. Okay. Claire says, I have not, but I think they sound fun. Yes, they do. And then Desiree says, artist trading cards are fun to paint. Hannah says, I have bought a few trading cards, but don't want to trade them. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so next I use my cutter thing, which is right here. I really need to get a new one because 
I don't know. I just kind of want to get a better one, but this works. So I like this cutter thing. And I, I want to save this top part here for like another painting. So I want to keep that in mind. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that this large piece off. Okay, so some of these bookmarks are not lined up. <laughs> okay, that looks all right. This one, this bookmark here, the hole is going to be about here, and it's, I feel like it's really close to the sleeve, so I'm just gonna kind of, I'm going to erase this top line here, um, and kind, kind of just adjust this bookmark so that the hole will be up here, and not so close to, to the leaf, if that makes sense. <laughs> My cutter is kind of dull. Oh well. Yeah, so I'll I'll just erase this top line. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry if this part is boring. <laughs> So did you guys enjoy this tutorial? Was it fun? Hannah says, my paper cutter is an old, huge, and heavy one. <laughs> Mine is a cheap one. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm reading some more of your comments. Um, Desiree says, they are trading cards because you can collect them just like Pokemon cards, but also you can trade a card you made with another artist. Yeah, that's really cool. For artist trading cards, do you like buy like a pack of them, like already like cut to the size or do you just cut watercolor paper you use like how like what what do you do okay we're almost done <laughs> cutting <clears throat> this one could be a little bit So then I cut the cards like this. Oops, sorry. Um, I'll erase this line later. I don't have, I can't find my really nice eraser at the moment. Okay, so then I have my edge rounder here. Um, I, 
I didn't link it yet in the description, but if you're watching the, the replay, it is probably linked below. But it's just an edge rounder. Um, so I'm gonna use this size here. So yeah, just edge, I just round the edges. Sorry if this is loud. <clears throat> I love this thing. I use it for some prints as well, like my five by seven prints, and I use it for uh, my sticker sheets. Okay, and then I have a hole punch right here. And I hole punch in the top. Okay, and I tie a ribbon, like a ribbon in the top, but the thing is, I can't find my ribbon. I tried looking for it and I can't find it. So that's like the next thing I do. I just tie the ribbon. Um, and then I, I like to sign the back of my bookmarks, like Alice in Line Art, um, either with like a pencil or, or like a micron pen. And then the last step, I varnish them with a spray varnish and I'll go get that real quick and show you what that is. So this is the spray varnish I use. Um, so yeah, I just do like one coat, that's, that's it. I don't really do any, any more coats, just one coat. Um, and yeah, that's like how I, how I make bookmarks. <laughs> um, I don't laminate them or anything. I, I like, I, I like the texture, you know, and, um, I, I like, I, I don't know. I feel like laminating them would take away that texture and the shimmers and stuff. So yeah. So what one is your favorite one, guys? Let me know below in the comments or in the chat if you're watching live. I think I think my favorite one is this one here. This one's like really shimmery and just pretty. I also really like this Monstera Leaf one. So, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um... I hope you found it fun. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera around now. All right, hi. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Patricia says that she enjoyed it very much. Uh, Claire says that she loved it, yay. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, and that says this was great. Thanks. Um, have a good day. You too. Oh, Claire says Quinn was here too. Yay. Did, did Quinn paint these or, or will, will you guys paint them together? Um, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Bye. 
<sighs> this is fun, guys. I'll see you on Tuesday for the weekly vlog. And I'll see you next Friday. And we'll be painting a beetle. That should be fun. Um, yeah, Cla Claire says that they painted this together today. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a wonderful Friday. I appreciate you so much. Um, and take care. And I'll see you soon. Bye, Liz. Bye. Bye, Des, Sarah, Desiree, Hannah, Allison. Yeah, thank you, Allison, for the super chat. That means so much to me. Uh, Meg. Bye, Meg. <laughs> Bye, guys.